Hello Sagittarius. This is Renee and welcome back. Sag, this is going to be your reading for March 18th through March 31st. Okay? Um, when I was meditating on your energy, <clears throat> I was seeing the Three of Cups. And I was seeing that you have support around you. You have people around you who love and care about you. Um, you're being fully supported at this time, fully protected. Um, I feel like, you know, there's a gathering. Um, I feel like you are maybe socializing or really getting out there. Um, I really feel like things are becoming clear and I think that you are really kind of sifting through the people in your life. I feel like you're seeing who is important, who is backing you up. Um, and I feel like you are letting go or releasing some people or some things around you that you feel no longer serve you that maybe you have outgrown or that really don't have the best intentions for you so i feel like you are really noticing things around you okay um let's get into the tarot okay so we have the knight of pentacles the strength card and the four of swords okay we also have the four of pentacles the star card and the page of pentacles okay so i feel like there's someone who is offering you some kind of guidance some kind of um some kind of valuable gift there's an offer on the table here and i feel like you know you are being led you are being divinely guided by whatever this is um, I feel like you have the strength that you need to endure new things. Because I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like these are changes. This is something that's going to change your perspective. Something that's going to change your situation. And I feel like you're going to be able to fully focus on what this is. And also focus on yourself. Focus on your needs. On being able to relax and enjoy life more fully okay so i feel like you know you're finally at that place where you just want to step back and move away from any conflict or drama and you really want to focus on your needs on your wants on your desires on feeling good you know on not letting things like move you out of your space Okay, I feel like you're protecting your energy at the moment. You're protecting your energy from any conflict. You're going through this healing time, okay, where you are seeing yourself as the star. You're seeing yourself as the spotlight. You're putting yourself first, okay? And I feel like because you're doing that, I feel like you're being divinely gifted this gift of a new perspective new um a new outlook on life and you know finding exactly what it is that you care about you know i feel like this is totally a gift because you're becoming more clear about what is important to you and what you want to focus your attention on what you want to put first Okay, I feel like you're actively pursuing the good things. Okay, that's what I'm getting. You're actively pursuing the good things. That's, you know, whatever makes you feel good. Um, you're not focusing on drama or conflict or struggle. You know, I feel like you've had enough of the struggle. You've had enough conflict you want to stay away from drama okay so uh, at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands definitely 
creating a new perspective, taking new passionate action. You're adapting to your current times, your current places, and you are now focused on your healing, on your um, awareness, getting a better understanding of yourself and of the people around you. Because maybe in the past you felt left out. You felt like you were unwanted, unappreciated, and now you're moving away from that situation because you feel like it has brought you nothing but heartache. Okay, so now you're healing. Now you're able to focus your attention on better things, on better gifts, on fully understanding how and why you got into that situation in the first place. Okay, so now you're moving past it. And you're creating something new. You're accepting this gift that you're finding very valuable. And I feel like that's the gift of time. The gift of putting yourself first. Of making yourself a priority. Okay? The gift of providing yourself healing. Being your own spotlight. You know, protecting your energy okay let's go ahead and get a little bit of clarity for these cards here um spirit give me a message for sagittarius what does sagittarius need to know um why is the knight of pentacles the strength card and the four of swords here give me a message please okay we have the queen of swords again now we had it here as well and we have the Three of Cups. There's the card that I was really meditating on. I was seeing that you are fully supported. You are being divinely guided. You know, there is support here for you. Okay, we have the, the Emperor. So, with the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Emperor, Sagittarius, I feel like you're getting a better understanding of the situation. You're getting a better understanding of exactly what you want out of life, how you want to be appreciated, how you want to be loved and cared for, how you want to be supported and protected. And you are taking full control. You are taking your control back because you know and you understand that you know, nothing happens without you saying or reacting to a situation, okay? If, you know, if there's conflict, you don't have to be a part of the conflict. If there's struggle, you don't have to struggle. You can move through the situation without feeling the heavy burden of the struggle. You know, we all go through, every, we all go through things every day. We all go through hard times, through, you know, um, battles and mishaps and what have you. But it's how you choose to react to the situation. If you're able to take control of the situation and just move through it, you know, you're moving through it more peacefully, more um, with a grateful heart, with a feeling of, you know, this is meant to happen to teach me a lesson for this reason, you know. And sometimes we go through that to where, you know, life just teaches you lessons. You know, this is what not to do. This is how not to do this. You know, this is the people we should be around. This is the people maybe we need to um, move away from, um, maybe release. Um, so I, I feel like, you know, you're going through these lessons. Okay, Sagittarius. And with the Four of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups. The Star, we have the Death card. And the uh, Page of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups. So definitely, exactly what I was saying. I feel like, you know, with this Four of Pentacles, you're protecting your energy, but you feel like you're very unfulfilled. You're very unsatisfied because you feel like you always got to protect yourself from any conflict or struggle that you're going through. And it's like, I don't have the energy to, to do that anymore. I need to focus on my healing. <coughs> 
excuse me, I need to focus on my healing and work on the things I need to work through in order to totally transform my life and make these changes, you know, before something ends, you know, and I feel like you are making changes, like you're ready to get off that that hamster wheel of life and just transform the situation so that you know you can receive this gift this valuable gift so i feel like you know there are some things that you are deciding that need to be released for your greater good because you found that there are more valuable things in life than having to deal with struggle or conflict or you know dealing with drama all the time so i feel like you're moving away from that situation okay you found a better way that's you know what i have for you that's what spirit wants you to know there is a better way sagittarius okay um let's go ahead and get an outcome what else does sagittarius need to know strength definitely an ace of pentacles and the devil okay at the bottom look at this the sun the sun and opportunities so you have the opportunity to choose to pick pick your battles wisely Sagittarius because you know by picking your battles wisely and not jumping into every situation you're gonna find more happiness you're gonna find more peace more feeling of being grounded of balance okay now um, Spirit wants to wants you to know, Sagittarius, that you have a lot more strength than you give yourself credit for. You have courage in any situation because you know you know that there are more things valuable out there. This is a valuable gift that Spirit is trying to teach you, trying to um, motivate you to understand that there are better things coming for you. Better things are coming because you are letting go of the negative energy that is surrounded by some people or some things that may be surrounding you. By releasing this negative energy, you are able to open up to this new energy of courage, strength, and new beginnings. Okay, so I feel like this message is very clear. Um, by letting go of the negativity, net, letting go of anything that may be binding you, you're going to have new feelings, new um, happiness, new awareness. You're going to feel more valuable and more fulfilled. Okay? So, and um, you're going to have less worry. You're going to feel more balanced, able to focus. You're going to have new love for life. Okay, so I, I feel like spirit really wants you to know that there is a better way, Sagittarius. And I feel like that better way is having the ability to choose. To pick and choose the battles that you actually put yourself into. Okay, let's go ahead and get a Moonology card for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, a time to give rather than take. So there, there may be something that you need to give rather than taking. Okay, and I feel like this is also six of pentacles energy to where, you know, you want to feel more balance. You want to feel the satisfaction of being given something rather than someone always taking something. Okay. A new romantic cycle begins. So there may be someone in your life who is coming through because of these changes that are being made. Um, there is new love in store for you that may be coming through as this Three of Cups. Um, the feeling of being supported, of loved, of cared for, of nurtured. Okay, so let's get some... Uh, manifestation moonology cards let's see what's coming through know your worth Sagittarius beautiful 
New Moon in Taurus. Know your worth. You are priceless. Excuse me. We also have forgive. Forgive the people that you need to forgive and also ask for forgiveness for yourself for the things that you've done. You know, this is full moon in Pisces. This is Pisces energy. But um, forgiveness is very gratifying. Okay? There may be a need for you to forgive someone in the near future. Okay? And believe in your good luck. Good things are coming. This is your card. Sagittarius, first quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. Beautiful. Okay, let's get um, an angel card. Let's see what the angels want to say to Sagittarius. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? And then we'll go ahead and pull an angel number. And finish off the reading there. Okay. Okay, we have. Okay, if you have any question and you're not sure of the answer, Spirit is letting you know the answer is no. Okay. And we also have unlikely. So something is very unlikely. Um, if. Hmm. I feel like you're asking questions. Um, I also feel like, you know, something may be the perfect time to make changes because we have big happy changes here. So I feel like it's perfect timing for those big changes. It's perfect time to put yourself first, to, you know, put your intentions out there in the universe that, you know, you are priceless and no one else can set your worth for you. You know, no matter what, you know, you are a very unique being and no one can tell you what you are or what you aren't. You are the one who defines that for yourself. OK, OK, we have 1717 self-reliance. Time has come to rely on your knowledge, your wisdom, your ambition you have an important soul mission and life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength will allow you more of your path to unfold ahead. Let me read that last line again. Leaning on your inner strength will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. Okay? Your affirmation. As I take leadership of my life, my life brings a flow of good fortune and good blessings. Okay, Sagittarius, this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If this reading doesn't resonate, Feel free to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising in the March playlist. You'll be able to find them very easily. And um, also take a look at your Venus if you're open to love, um, if you know your Venus sign. And until your next reading, Sagittarius, many blessings to you, love and light.